Hi, today we want to make this kind of um, presentation here of different SVG uh, images that are made with this code here. You see here we get our HTML page and it loads all these um, all these images. And by the way, it loads them from uh, from my site, but uh, yeah, I can also load them locally. So now I am loading them locally, but uh, I don't want to write this stuff here. I could make something in JavaScript or I can make it in Python. So you know I like it more in Python. And um, even because I don't know how to grab the images from a directory. So, how can I do it in Python? Uh, let me copy this. Let's go into another empty folder. Let's put a triple quote here. And let's call it PGS page or HTML. Now I'm going to save this file as make HTML.py. Okay, and now that I got this one, I just have to go and change this stuff here. So I'm gonna take this as the as a template. Now I'm just gonna here for example replace template with the variable template. Okay, and then I'm just gonna save the file. loader.html in writing mode as file and then file.write our HTML. Let's run this. Okay, then let me also start file loader.html let me import OS so here it is and there is nothing in it so I yeah let me do HTML equal okay it mm, yeah we got this this one this template thing here but of course I want to replace all the images so I'm gonna put this one here def uh, loads and uh, then I'm gonna do image equal if for e and Glob as SVG and then from from Glob import Glob and then uh, for each image um, 
yeah. I'm gonna load it image. Template is not defined. Hmm. Template, template, template. In line twenty nine. Okay. Um let me return the template here. Here I got to do plus equal. And then there you go. So we have our so now we get our um, creator of um, of this HTML file. I can also save some space here. I could also join all this stuff together. Title. I could also put some title here, like a template, etc. I leave it this way. So um, this is the code, or maybe it was better this way. It's more readable. Let me see what's wrong. Indentation contains tabs. So let's eliminate indentation. Let's put an empty line on here. And this is the code. And now you see it ends up here. If I just add another SVG, let me create it right now. And let me see where, where is this file. SVG presents. Okay, mm, let me create any kind of um, hello world. Let me make a giant and red and file save as. SVG presents SVG presents No, it's not this one, the name SVG and then SVG present SVG, SVG presents Go on and let me call it slide Slide 5, it was better to call it 0, 5, etc. Let me call it 0. Save it. And let me run again my script here. And OK. It put it at the end. Because I I misspelled it slide zero, not slowed. Let me delete this and save this with the slide, the right name here. Now let's go back, let's reload it. Now we don't have it because I got to run again the script, and here it is my hello world, and etc. here. You see that it's stretched to 100% because I put it 
my width and height to 100 percent mm -hmm. I could make I could delete this uh, fill let me do fill equal zero if fill else I will just go for this without the 100 percent and I forget this thing here Okay, so now you can see they are all in in their original dimension. And not 100%, you just have to go and uh, fill equal 1. if you want to see them in full screen mode this could have been better if I if I did something like this and save it like this okay you see now it looks better Or even better if you put it like this. This was made by Python programming dot altervista dot org. Save it, load it, there you go. And as you can see it's quite quite nice. You can uh, make your presentation here with just the slides with no program at all. And another suggestion you could go and do print this thing making control P and you could save it as a PDF so let me save it SVG presents save it and there you go this is your file and to made into a PDF and as I said you could do fill equal zero go run it and then print it as a PDF and it will be in the original site well That's all for the moment. This is I leave this script on my site and uh, see you next time.